Let's paint ourselves our own Van Gogh and let's add custom paintings to Minecraft. 121 Minecraft modding courses available down below with over 11 hours of content covering everything from the basics all the way to block entities and custom mobs. All right, we found us back in Telegram more and in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding a custom painting, actually multiple custom paintings to our Minecraft mod. And the first thing to say here is that we don't need any code. Yes. Now, in theory, of course, you could do this with code because once again, we'll need a data JSON file. And just like I said, with the custom jukebox song, you could in theory do this with data gen. However, once you see the things that we have to do for these JSON files that we need to add, you're going to say, you know what, maybe that is not worth it. Even if you added 10 paintings, even then the JSON file copying over would probably be better and easier. Regardless though, we're going to start in the data tutorial mod folder. We're going to make a new directory called painting underscore variant, making sure we write this correctly. Super easy to make a typo over here, painting underscore variant. Inside of that folder, we'll create the one new JSON file. We're going to call this saw underscore them dot JSON. The contents of this are going to look like this asset underscore ID is going to be tutorial mod colon saw underscore them. We then also define a height and that's going to be two and then also a width, which is going to be two as well. And that's it. That is the whole JSON file. Like I said, it is literally like it's nothing, right? Like that's crazy. And I will also copy over the other two. That's going to be the shrimp as well as the world JSON over here. And you can see they are basically the same, except the shrimp one has a different height over here, only a height of one. Now the height over here is actually the height in blocks, not in pixels, very important. But one basically is 16 by 16, right? So this would be a 16 by 16 painting versus a 32 by 32 painting. And you can go up all the way to 16 blocks by 16 blocks. So that will be 256 by 256 pixels, which is very, very large. Like that's a huge painting, but that would in theory be possible. The second thing we need to do is we need to add a tag and that is in the data folder. We want to create a new directory called Minecraft because this tag has to go into the Minecraft directory. That's first of all in the Minecraft directory called the makes the tags folder. And then inside there, we'll make another folder called painting underscore variant once more. So that's the same name given right here under data Minecraft tax painting variant. And then inside of here, a new JSON file called the place able.json, placeable.json. Make sure to write this correctly. It's very, very easy to make a type over here once more. And I'm just going to copy over the contents here because well, it's just all of our paintings basically. And then they will also be properly added to the painting, well, basically the painting tag. The reason why we don't generate this particular tag with data gen is we would need to make a whole new class because, well, this is neither a block nor an item tag. This is a painting variant tag. And I don't know, once again, just for this, I kind of feel like it doesn't make any sense to do that. So therefore, we're just going to basically do it manually. And of course, what we also need is some assets. And the asset is first of all is going to be the lang over here, the translation. The translation basically, as you can see, boils down to painting dot tutorial mode or your mod ID, then the name of the painting. And then you always have a title and an author. You can see the author always here is nano attack because nano did all of the paintings. But yeah, then the different titles are obviously different in this case. And then we also need the textures because it needs something to display. And that's going to be under textures, right click new directory called painting. And then inside of there, we'll add all of our different paintings over here. The three paintings that we have, those are, of course, also available to you down below for download. And with that, we actually have everything we're going to need for our custom paintings. Like I said, it is pretty crazy. With zero code, but all of the JSON files still are going to be linked down below in the GitHub repository. And now let's jump into the game and see if it works. All right, I found some back in Minecraft. And let's just see if I type in nano. You can see we get the three paintings. And if I were to get the random painting it sometimes takes a while but that's gonna be fine there we go that's the first one that's the second one and there we freaking go and let's see if i can't get there that's amazing that was pretty good rng now of course uh, the shrimp is going to well leave me hanging no it does not and then the question is can i get the world as well yes i can let's freaking go there we go and those are all three paintings over here custom paintings added to minecraft absolutely freaking awesome and that's going to be it for this tutorial right here. Next time in this video, we'll add a custom enchantment. Hope to see you there. So, yeah.